Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2024, on this November 18th, Monday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for this wonderful opportunity. Let us thank Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Last full morning, our Lord protected us. Just remember how wonderfully our Lord took care of us. Amen. Hallelujah. In all our needs, He was with us, delivered us from all evil, as Jehovah Jireh, as Jehovah El Shaddai, as Jehovah Nisi, he was with us. And the Lord who led us last morning, let us lift a hand and thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the good sleep he gave us last night. For that, tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the good sleep he gave us. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. With good health and happiness, the Lord who woke us up this morning for his grace and mercy. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Father, it is your grace that we awoke today. But Father, we tell you thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you this morning for holding your hand and for leading us. For your grace, thank you. Under your wings, Father, this morning for hiding us and miraculously for leading us. Father, for your faithfulness. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Above Father, you are a good God. You are a great God and your mercy endures forever. You are a God who alone does great wonders. Lord, we thank you. Father, we worship you, we praise you and we thank you. Above Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. The psalmist is saying in Psalms 9, verse number 1. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. Verse 4, For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sat on the throne, judging in righteousness. Let us all pray together. Let us close our eyes. Lift a hand if you can. Lift a hand and pray. Abba Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for this morning we thank you. To come into your presence, Father, for your great grace, thank you. This morning, Father, we pray for everyone who is hearing this voice today. Lord Jesus, we bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, especially this morning for all the blessing you have given to us, thank you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, for the salvation you have given to us, thank you, Lord. Father, for all the deliverance you have given to us, thank you. For your righteousness upon us, thank you. Father, this morning, everyone who is hearing this voice today, Father, we bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all who are hearing this voice today, Father, let them be blessed in their needs. Miracles, let it happen. Father, those who are sick, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Every bondage of the enemy, every power of sickness, in the name of Jesus Christ, leave them, we pray. Hallelujah. Those who have got ulcer in the mouth, where they have even a difficulty to eat food, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Thank you, Lord. Those who have got pain in the knee and where they can't walk properly, in the authority, in the name of Jesus Christ, let them be healed. Those who have got numbness in the feet, in the head, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Father, every other concerns and matters, Father, we give them into thy hands and pray. Father, this morning, fulfilling each and every one with your glory, Father, we thank you, Lord, thank you. Let them be filled with the Holy Spirit, everyone who is hearing this voice today. Let them be filled with the Spirit of the Lord, we pray. Father, we pray for those who have no job. Lord Jesus, those who are going through financial difficulty, we pray for them. Those who are going through continuous failures, we pray for them. This morning, Father, thank you for you are a God of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, God's miracle for happening in the life of your children. Lord, we thank you. 
Father, thank you for you are a God of miracles. Also, Lord, all those who are ministering for your kingdom, every man and woman all over in the world, we bless and we pray for them. Let your great favor be upon them. Let your grace be upon them, we pray. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. We give you all the glory. In Jesus Christ, mighty and matchless name, we make this prayer. Amen, amen, amen. This morning, let the Lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning. Hallelujah. Today further, we are going to meditate from the book of James, chapter 1, verse 26. James 1, 26 is from where the Holy Spirit is going to speak to us today. If anyone among you thinks he is religious and does not burdle his tongue, but deceives his own heart, this one's religion is useless. If anyone among you thinks he is religious, we say, oh, I am a great person who prays so much. I've got a relationship with the Lord deeply. Even though we say like that and then does not burdle his tongue, meaning that believing that we have a relationship with God and it is the words of God that has to come out from our tongue. If it is not the Lord's word that come out of our tongue, we have been a failure in that relationship. Our heart is far away from the Lord is what it means. Or the relationship with God is not deep. The words that come out of our tongue, if it is, if it is not as per the will and the will of God, means that we are not in deeper relationship with God. We hear it, which is saying is a religious, means a person who is greatly having a deep relationship with God. But when we speak, it's not the words that comes out from the mouth of God. Then we are not what we say we are. We are kept in this world as representatives of God. So what, what God wants to speak to this world, it comes out from our mouth. Not only in our life, but even looking at the nature, looking at the nation, the words that come out of our mouth should be what the Lord would speak. So the words that come out of our mouth, we should be very careful. God's words, we should try to speak out from our mouth. In the book of Mark, it says, If anyone, without doubting in his heart, and says to this mountain, Move from here and be cast into the sea, it will happen as he says. When Jesus said, So the word that comes out of our mouth, it reflects its power that has. Or what the Lord is revealing to us is a miracle that our words can create when we speak. Many a times, the words that, cre that come out of our mouth are not words that create miracle, but words that destroy and words that cause hurt. In any situation, the Holy Spirit is reminding us from our mouth what our Lord desires that should come out. When Jesus Christ saw a sick person, he did not say, what a great sickness, but he said, be healed. When God saw, when Jesus saw luckiness, Jesus Christ proclaimed words that would create in that same manner, in our practical life, in our daily life, in our home, outside our home. The words that come out of our tongue is very important. If you are a person who says, I am very close with God, I speak and communicate with God, then our tongue should be that of God's tongue. Being a representative of God, we should speak the word of God that he desires to be spoken from our mouth. And that in our life, everywhere, in our family, outside, everywhere, the words that come out of our mouth should be words as per the will of God. This is very important. King David, when he lived, prayed, Lord, burden my tongue, put a guard over my mouth, meaning the words that come out of our mouth is very important. In the book of Proverbs, it says, life and death are in the mouth. So, children of God, the words that come out of our mouth are words that can be, that which gives life or death, how it should be, we can decide. Should we bring out words of life or words of death? What is it? The Lord desires to come out of our mouth, we should speak. So this morning, dear children of God, take a decision. It is better not to over speak. 
but when you speak let it be powerful the will of god when you speak much negative words can come out and what is not the will of god or that which puts us down in relationship with god can come so what is it that we have to do let us control our speech in the book of james it says slow to hear slow to speak quick to hear and slow to speak so our words is very important in the spiritual realm our words will create and can change things so children of god when we are speaking in this world let us be very careful and thinking carefully speak only what you have to speak other than that don't speak any unnecessary words it is a big you no know, in any situation how much of emotional you are also even if you are tempted to the highest but what you have to speak think and then speak because in any situation your words are very important and in this world the lord has kept you as a royal priesthood as a royal king each one of us so the words that come out of our mouth in the atmosphere in the spiritual realm will create great changes so upon your words be very careful that you speak and let the lord bless you you see i am a religious person i speak the word of god i read the bible i meditate but that itself is not enough create the words that create a life and blessing to each and every one hallelujah in the name of jesus christ we will grow we will hallelujah great signs great wonders great miracles will happen we will expand we will be uplifted and all will be in over of us we are blessed we are really blessed we are permanently blessed and highly favored god bless you god bless you god bless you today